a family's beloved dog abused at the hands of the man who was supposed to be caring for that pup. Tonight, that dog walker is facing charges after the couple noticed something was wrong and set out to prove it. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers live from Katy with this story tonight. Brittany? And the dog owners tell me that uh, they became concerned when they noticed that their dog started acting differently, and they say that their fears were confirmed when they looked at surveillance video. Now, tonight, they do have a warning for other pet owners, but we do want to caution that some of this video might be difficult for some viewers to watch. Donovan and Maddie had a rough start at life before they were adopted. These are our babies. They're not just dogs, they're our babies. Mm -hmm. Christine Martinez and Diana Lopez say they're protective of their schnauzers. And when a friend referred a pet sitter, they thought they were in good hands. You would have never thought that he was the kind of person that would hurt anybody. About a month under Alvaro Javier Martinez, or AJ's care, they had a feeling that something was wrong when Maddie started having accidents in the house. It started happening little by little, a little bit more. They set up cameras, and the next day when they went to work, they say they watched the surveillance app in terror. We didn't know the horror that was happening in our own home. You can hear the dog, Maddie, yelping in distress. The two rushed home, called police, and then confronted AJ. She had bruises oh. all on her stomach. Yeah, uh, right here. Photo after photo shows the injuries. The veterinarian's medical report shows the animal had difficulty swallowing, bruising over her body, and soft tissue trauma due to abuse. According to the probable cause affidavit, Harris County Assistant District Attorney cited Alvaro Martinez with an animal cruelty offense. Oh, we just couldn't believe it. You know, it, it haunted us so much after it happened. Maddie is healed, but still very leery around strangers. Diana cautions other pet owners to do their homework. And Diana tells me that she says that if you're in this similar situation, she encourages that you look into their prior work history. She says pay attention to your animal's behavior and most importantly, get cameras. She says right now this investigation has been referred to the Animal Crimes Unit. Live tonight in Katy, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News. Brittany, thank you.